All right, y'all. I am at home and I am going live right now. Um, I know you guys have been wa waiting for this. So it's going down. Um, I am going to be going live addressing Tasha K. I'm going to be addressing Tasha K right now on my channel. So make sure you guys head over to my YouTube channel because it's time to clear this bitch. I'm going to show you, Tasha K, how to deal in receipts and facts, bitch. I'm going to show you how to deal in receipts and facts, bitch. That's what we're going to do today. So make sure everybody gets over there because... Release real lovely tea receipts. Trans shade. Should have taken a video down. Only got Dr. C's. Okay, you used her. She was allegedly mentoring you. She gave you an interview. She these are things that she says she done for me. She was on she says she's only loyal to Jacob Koheiner. She, oh, okay. I need I gotta get I gotta get, write some other stuff down. But my name is Armand Wiggins, the Armand Wiggins show on YouTube. Hey, can you bring me a piece of paper and a pen? Because I got I to gotta get some clear. Um, I'm going, make sure you guys are there and make sure your notifications are turned on. Oh, yes. Make sure your notifications are turned on. Because I'm going to show a bitch how to really deliver a receipt. I'm going over to YouTube Live. I'm just letting the people know that I'm at home right now. And I'm setting up everything. So text your girlfriends. Tell all your friends I will be live in the next 10 minutes. I'm getting my receipts together, bitch. I'm getting my receipts together. And I will be live. Okay, so get ready. Get ready, because I'm going to show you how to do a bitch ugly. Get ready. You don't pick, you don't mess with the wrong one, bitch. I'm not lovely, T girl. Bitch, we're going to pull these receipts. And I'm not even going to get messy with it. Um... But I'm, we're going to clear the air. We're going to clear the air tonight. We're going to definitely clear the air. Because she, she, she made some statements that just was completely untrue. I used her. The only friend she was loyal to is... Jacob Kohainor. Okay, girl. So, um, let me set up and I will see you on YouTube. All right. See ya. Ooh, child. These YouTube streets was hot last night. I can't even begin to tell you just how hot it was. It was so crazy watching, watching things unfold as they did last night. So if you don't know by now, or you were living under a rock, especially if you're on YouTube as much as I am, apparently things got pretty heated between Armand Wiggins and the one and only Tasha K. So when I got in from CrossFit last night, I noticed that Armand Wiggins was going live and I didn't know exactly why he had went live. I had no clue. I didn't understand it. All I saw is I saw Tasha K in the description. So I'm like, wait a minute, what's going on? So I watched about maybe 30 minutes of his video and that was probably all I needed to pretty much conclude that he was dragging the entire dog fuck out of her. So um, I looked in the comments and I saw that people were saying, well, hey, you, you know, if you don't know what he's talking about, go and watch uh, 
Tasha K's other channel. Tasha K kind of has like a backup channel that she doesn't really be on very much. It's called Unwind with Tasha K Live. And that is where she actually posted this video or a part one and a part two, which is kind of interesting that she did not put it on her regular platform, but I kind of get why she didn't. So anyway, I went over to her backup YouTube channel and Tasha K pretty much explained Let's just put Armand to the side for a moment. Tasha K pretty much explained why her and Lovely T fell out. Now, I made a video a few weeks ago about the fact that I knew that they weren't friends anymore. People were going back and forth. No, they're okay. They're cool. They're cool. I knew that they were not friends anymore. And I knew, based on what I've seen with Tasha, that Tasha would eventually come around to addressing why they are not cool. Now, I made a video prior to that talking about how I thought maybe the tea sippers and the winos got played because according to Tasha K, her and Lovely T conspired with one another to do this whole Star Marie thing. And so if you go over to uh, Tasha K's video, she pretty much breaks it down and she explains it. And although I have dragged this woman for weeks and weeks and weeks, and I do think that she's extra, I think that she has gotten a bit beside herself. There's a lot of things I could say about Tasha, but I will actually admit that I believed her. I believed her on her video last night. I believe that they did do something like that, where they were trying to um, trend and they actually conspired to do this. And it did, I had for a, maybe a couple of weeks or so, I have been feeling a little different about Lovely T and how I have put her on a pedestal. She, in my opinion, is not as squeaky clean and as innocent as I thought that she was. All right. I believed Tasha K um, when she talked about Lovely T. And I do believe that once lovely t became cool with cardi b i knew that we really couldn't trust pretty much what she said anymore i knew that her stories would never be the same because she got too close to the story if you if i watched a couple of her videos when she talked about Nicki minaj and cardi b in this last beef that they had and i could tell right then and there, i was like you know what this is trash this isn't the usual lovely t who tries to look at it from all angles and she doesn't take sides. Clearly, clearly she's not doing that anymore. So I actually agree with Tasha K when she uh, brought that up. What I thought was a bit like a snake move is when Tasha K went on to say that when her and Lovely T were on the phone and she was trying to get to the bottom of what Lovely T told Malibu Dollface, that she was actually recording Lovely T. Now, I thought that was kind of snaky. I I didn't like that. But if listening to Tasha K, now it all kind of makes sense as to why their friendship fell out. And it really is. <laughs> it's about Star Marie. I Listen, Star Marie came in and shook some shit up. Did she not? She really came in and shook some, sh just shook it up. And it's just interesting how so much has happened because of that. Now, Armand Wiggins. I was brought to Armand Wiggins' channel because I didn't even know who he was by Tasha K by listening to her and, and I basically subscribed to him. And then I kind of left Tasha K alone because all the drama that she was in and all the bullshit that she was on. And I started watching Armand Wiggins and I have to say, I really do like this kid. I think he's funny. Um, I think he got a mouth. I actually think that he is a better interviewer than Tasha. I would actually agree with him. So it was interesting to see him kind of drag her yesterday. Apparently, Tasha K has been, you know, if you've ever watched Armand, Armand does all of the um, sound effects like Joe Budden does and, and Nicki Minaj, if you've ever watched their podcast, their shows, he does a lot of that. All right. So he has the gunshots. Everybody knows that if you've ever watched uh, Armand, he has the gunshots. He does a little dance. I mean, I love his intro song. It's kind of dope. So Tasha K has been kind of doing a little bit of the gunshots lately. And so I guess he kind of shaded her 
about that and she took it some kind of way and you know apparently she kind of lashed out and she said you know they were never friends this was just business and i guess he he felt a type of way about that he thought they were friends i don't know i don't know how you define friends but whatever um and basically they're no longer cool all right so basically tasha k is getting a lot of heat on the streets and and for what i gather she actually don't care she really don't care tasha understands how this business works I don't necessarily agree with how she runs things and how she decides to go after things, but that's Tasha. She's aggressive. I think that she's made a lot of enemies out here. It is clear. It is clear to me that she's made a lot of enemies and a lot of folks don't fuck with her. They don't like her. And so she has found herself more and more isolated. And I can't imagine that's a good feeling when you are out here by yourself, but on the other hand, Tasha K is doing well monetarily. She's making a lot of money. Uh, she's building a brand. She's perfectly okay with that. Um, and it is what it is. Lovely T, she's always been big. She's been, like I said, she's a veteran of these YouTube streets. And Tasha K has grown exponentially in the last few months. She's probably gained more followers than she ever had in his last maybe month or so with the whole Star Marie thing. So, and Armand Wiggins, I know, and he can even admit, I'm sure that because of Tasha K, he grew, but he also grew on his own when he started doing the show. You know, he started doing his own different kind of um, uh, things. I mean, he forgot to, he interviewed Nene Leakes. Now, I think that's huge for him. And he did an excellent job. Like I said, I think he's a much better interviewer than Tasha K. Tasha K said something that I thought was kind of funny. She talked about how, you know, YouTubers need to, to, to lift each other up and they need to get along. And I thought, well, Tasha, you didn't do that when you was coming after Jenna, calling her a white bitch and cussing that girl out and making that girl cry. So it is interesting that she decided to take the kumbaya approach of it and say, you know, us YouTubers, we need to get along and we need to treat each other with respect and be nice to each other. And I thought, okay, all right, Tasha. But anyway, yes, Tasha, I'm making another video about you. Like everybody else, I decided to jump in on that because I was just surprised to see things blow up the way they did yesterday. That was shocking to me. And I am assuming she probably won't say anything more about it. Maybe our mom won't say anything about it. And I doubt Lovely T might say anything about it. But I'm going to be sitting here watching and waiting, y'all. Bye.